Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber and this is Doug from Fine Tools. And um, what we're going to show you today is a typical procedure that we do on a Tesla Model S battery pack, the 1200 pound pack that comes out of the car. Uh, the reason they come out of a Tesla Model S is we repair what's inside. And in order to get inside, we have a lid here that is uh, caulked in very well and usually very difficult to get off. The uh, procedure to take it off used to require tools that we made ourselves and you can see they're pretty crude and it takes quite a bit of work to get them off and actually Brian now one of our master mechanics is going to show us how he would typically remove one of these lids. So the trick is to get up underneath that lid and begin to break that caulk by pounding on the, uh, on the tool that we made. Now, what ends up happening as he's doing this is, and by the way, this is already loose, so he's not struggling as much as he normally does. Let's make that clear. All right, hold on a second here, Brian. So what typically happens is we end up tweaking this and we have to do body work later on in order to reuse this lid. And the reason we have to reuse the lid is because Tesla does not sell this lid. They stamp them out, but we have to actually re-bend this lid in order to reuse it to close up the battery pack. So we have Doug here today from Fine Tools, and he's going to tell us about a tool that they developed that actually makes this procedure much faster, simpler, and uh, removes that lid. So Pete, Fine Power Tools, as you and your audience may or may not know, is the world's oldest power tool manufacturer. We invented the first power tool in 1895. Is that right? That's right, it was a drill. Uh, and we've come a long ways and we've had a lot of firsts. And one of the firsts is a tool that everybody's seen in the market these days. It's that oscillating tool, right? It was originally developed in 1967 and it was a cast saw. It was for removing a plaster cast if you had broken a bone and had the bone set. Okay. So the principle is that oscillates in a very narrow range, about three degrees, uh, very quickly. And what it'll do, this will cut something hard, but it won't cut your skin. Okay. Right? So okay. that's what it was. We developed that for the remodeling industry and caulking industry and also the automotive window industry. And and automotive windshields use a similar urethane and, uh, to what Tesla uses to seal the pack. So we said, let's, uh, let's see how this is gonna work with removing that and helping you in your process. And here's what we've got. We've got the, uh, the uh, MM700. This is our commercial version of the oscillating tool and a range of different profiles of knives that's gonna get in past some of the obstructions and what it's gonna do is slice that urethane uh, without damaging the pack or damaging the lid. So reducing a lot of labor and a lot of damage. The other thing is, is we can custom manufacture these blades to go around any of the obstructions that you may see. You can see there's a curved lip on the edge of the pack. We can custom manufacture blades to go around that and at custom lengths too, so mm -hmm. it's a safer process, removing the possibility of nicking something inside that you don't want to touch with, a, with a, something that's metal. Sure, you can see that here you got a flange and here yeah. you got a flat spot, so you're gonna end up using two different blades on these two portions, is that Certainly. correct? Certainly, that's correct, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we've got here set up in the tool is one that's gonna get most of the way through the uh, caulk today. We have different ones that have different lengths that we're gonna to get to you so we can follow up and make sure that it's completely slicing the side. We've already uh, taken part of the uh, top off over here. Um, remind me what this is called? The penthouse. This is the penthouse, yes. And you know, when I came over earlier, guys, I looked at the penthouse that had been removed and it did not have anywhere near the amount of distortion that we normally see when we have to chisel off all of that caulk. Right, and that's the point, is to make your job, your operator's job, and the reassembly a lot easier for you, right? So what I think Brian is gonna do is, we've got part way through the side, right. and he's gonna show us real quickly 
how fast you can actually cut through that urethane without deforming the, uh, deforming the top. Okay, Brian, if you want to come get the tool, let's put that on camera and uh, give an example of this. And there we are. Just like that. Now, Brian, how much labor did we just say there? How long would it have taken you chiseling with that tool that we made? It would have taken me at least half a day. Really? Yeah. Okay. The whole lid is what you're saying, though, not just that side or the... No, it's, it's usually about four hours a side. Four hours a side? Yeah, to get okay. one side, four hours for the other side. Well, you just buzzed through that. Now, granted, we had taken part of this and already uh, started here, right? Yeah. So essentially, you ran from here to here in what, about uh, one minute or so? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, to save my shoulders. For sure. All right. Um, so, and then as we had mentioned earlier, there's a different portion here, a flat portion. Do we want to dig into that at this point? Sure, we can. We can, uh, we can show you how, it, how easily it works. Well, we can leave the same blade on there or we can change it to uh, a different blade if you want, Right. Okay. Uh, and here you can see the actual blade. Want? And I'm going to turn this on now. You can see the deflection. And you can see it's minimal deflection, but boy, it sure gets the job done. There we go. All right, Brian. So the phrase, just like butter, comes to mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's the idea, Pete. Yep. So, Doug, is there anything else you can tell us about this tool? Uh, we're pretty impressed so far with where we've gone and what we've done here. So this tool, like I said, has, is designed specifically for um, the automotive industry for glass removal and now this. Uh, but there are hundreds of other attachments that you can use not only for this, but for general construction and remodeling, scraping, grinding, sanding, uh, any kind of application that you may have, maybe even removing undercoating too, if you uh, have to do that in some places. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like your Swiss Army knife tool. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find a lot of applications for it, and it looks like we've certainly helped out your process here today. Mm -hmm. Well, Doug, thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate your time and Glad to uh, help, Pete. this wonderful invention that you guys have come up with or a reapplication of an existing tool. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pete Gruber. We'll see you next time.